What's up everybody, Remy Sovereign here, back with another video today, and what I wanted to talk about is a video that I actually just watched, and it was put out by Dave Tate regarding max effort lifts with regards to singles, doubles, and triples. So, with regards to singles, doubles, and triples, guys, just look at it as one repetition, two repetition, or three repetitions going at a maximal or close to maximal effort lift for lifts such as the deadlift, squat, or bench press, or any other type of lift that you just may be doing a max effort at. And what Dave talked about in the video actually was that he believes, based on his personal experience, is that the injury risk is going to be much greater for doing doubles and triples as opposed to singles. And the reason behind that is because of fatigue accumulating after performing that first repetition. And so what he actually mentioned to talk about in that video actually resonated with me and it reminded me of my herniated disc injury when I was deadlifting. And when I was deadlifting, guys, I was lifting about 395 pounds. This was the most I've ever lifted. And it was actually on a double that I felt my back kind of give out or just kind of flare up. And it wasn't on that single, it was on the, actually that second repetition when I went to perform it. And mind you, my technique was probably terrible at the time. But the point being is that after performing that first repetition, that fatigue had already accumulated. And that essentially, probably contributed to why I suffered that herniated disc or why I experienced that pain flare up after trying to do that second repetition. Now, in my opinion, looking back at things, I can't recall for sure, but I don't believe I completed that second repetition. I actually failed on it, but point being was that I failed and got hurt on that double. And that's where kind of my pain started to flare up. But mind you, things got progressively worse because I didn't know the severity of my injury. And I continued to train for the next couple weeks. And that's when things got progressively bad and very worse. But anyways, what I just wanted to, I just wanted to kind of talk about that because I thought it was very interesting with the, regards to the video that Dave put out and how he mentioned that singles, there's a less risk of injury as opposed to doing those doubles or triples because of fatigue accumulating after doing those singles, especially specifically at the max effort work. And one way to kind of increase or to progressively increase in terms of a, a better way to look at it, maybe doing a single at a max effort, but then increasing the weight subtly, maybe that's five, maybe that's 10 pounds for the next set, which is then be, would be formed for another single. And then if that goes well, progress that as well to an, another single, but for a higher weight, which may be another five or 10 pounds added. And so that's just an interesting kind of way to look at things. And I completely agree with what Dave said in the video. Now, I'm not saying everyone's training is gonna be like this, and I'm not saying not to do doubles or triples like kind of Dave mentioned in the video as well, but that's all gonna come down to an individual's programming, what their goals are, what their intentions are, and what they're looking to improve or address. Because it's not always gonna be good or beneficial to just do singles at max effort all the time consistently. But just the point being is that doing those max effort lifts and programming them properly in your exercise program, if you're someone that's looking to do max effort lifts, so maybe you're in powerlifting or maybe you're just doing it for personal purposes, it may be a good idea to kind of follow that pattern but program it properly and you want to avoid kind of burning yourself out, which would be the key. But it may be just a safer way to maybe prevent injury because you're now you're not going to perform maybe a second or a third repetition at a, the near max or max effort where you've already accumulated that fatigue and where technique may be breaking down. And that injury risk has significantly gone up during that second and third repetition. So that's all I wanted to kind of talk about, guys, because I thought that video really resonated with me. And I thought for anyone out there who is involved in weightlifting and is looking to maybe do max effort lifts or close to max effort lifts, something to consider in terms of looking to kind of progress your exercise programming and with regards to a lot of those uh, a lot of those lifts those power lifts specifically in deadlift squat or bench press is to look to increase the weight and kind of stick to one repetition and just kind of slowly progress and as you can safely and comfortably without really having any technique breakdown or as minimal technique breakdown as possible to kind of maintain things as safely as possible as you go up Okay guys, that's kind of it up for this video. Now, if you're someone that maybe was got hurt on a double or a triple 
or maybe even a single you got hurt on, maybe when doing a max effort lift. I'd love to hear about that story. I'd love to hear about kind of what happened to you because I find a lot of people tend to have that ego where they're, where they're not gonna get hurt. They feel like they're invincible and they feel like that they're just never gonna get an, an injury. And I was personally like that myself. And then it took me until I got that herniated disc that it really kind of changed my mindset and everything as to me not being invincible and that I'm actually at a great, at a uh, bad position per se, or just a greater risk for um, an injury and that an injury can happen to me per se. So just thought I'd share that with you guys. If you're, you know, if you're someone that does max effort lifts and you're looking to kind of reduce that injury risk as much as possible, something to consider. And that's it for this video, guys. Wish you guys all the best and a successful and productive day. Take care.